Hello guys, welcome to Bola Tech. In this video, we have been given a question on crank mechanism, which says in the mechanism shown in the figure below, that is this mechanism, OA revolves anticlockwise about O, that is this is OA, it is revolving anticlockwise, while AB slides through the pivoted block C, just in the motion of a link mechanism, okay? Now we are asked to draw the locus of B for one revolution of OA, that is when OA moves round once, the locus of B as it is sliding. Okay, now we have been told that OA is 40 millimeter and AB is 1 around 45 millimeter. Now, the first thing we have to do is to draw our straight line, which is going to be a center line that is a thin long chain line. So, that's the first thing we have to do. After doing that, we are going to draw our vertical line first. Okay, now in order to draw our circle, we have been given that OA is what 40 millimeter. That is O is 40 millimeter. So the radius of the circle is 40 millimeter. I've picked it on my compass. Okay, then I I draw in this manner, like this. Okay. So now the next thing we have to do is to divide this circle into eight equal parts. We are going to divide it into eight equal parts. This is OA. As we can see in the question, it is actually right in the center. That is to tell us that we are dividing it into 8 equal parts. Although we can also divide it into 12 equal parts. It is just the same steps you are going to follow. It is exactly the same thing. Okay. So in order to divide into 8 equal parts, I'll pick my 45 degrees square like this. Then draw this also like this in this manner. So this is our point O here at the center. And this is our point A here. Okay. So we have divided this into eight equal parts already. Now we are going to label this, okay? And we have been told that it is moving what anticlockwise. So our labeling should also be anticlockwise. So this is A1, this is A2, this is A7, okay? Now we have been given a line down here where point C is, and we have been told that it is 13 millimeter, okay, from this our line here, which is our reference line. So I'm going to pick my ruler. I mark 13 from this top here. This is 13. When I mark 13, at point of 13, I'm going to draw a thin straight line. Okay? Like this. Towards this edge here. Okay? Now, we have been told that from the center here, the center of the circle to point C is actually 88 millimeter. 88. So, I'm going to pick 88 from here this is 88 i'm going to pick it like this so this is my point c okay i'm going to represent that with this box actually that is here so this is my point c now we have been told that point a we have been shown that point a passes through point c to form point b and a b is what 145 millimeter so from point a this point a here okay i'm going to draw through point C, okay, like this, in this manner, okay, now, we have been told that the length is 145, to get our, to get our point, to get our point B, so that's 14.5, so at this point here is our point B, we are going to pick length of 14.5 with our compass, so i've picked 14.5 already on my compass this is 14.5 now as we have done to point a we are going to also going to do exactly the same to a1 to a7 okay now we are asked to find the locus of point b and we have picked point a b as 145 so we are going to move to point a1 also place it on a1 here okay then we are going to strike an arc in this manner okay so then pick our our ruler through point c don't forget a was passing through point c so a1 also should pass through point c then we'll draw a straight line so this point here would be our point b1 all right so we move to a2 we move to a2 our compass is still on 145 it has not changed okay our compass has not changed then from here through point c also through point c we draw 
our straight line okay at this point here this is going to be our point b2 okay then we move to a3 this is our point a3 okay we are going to draw we are going to draw so from a3 through point c okay like this we get our b our b3 okay now a4 from a4 we are going to strike an arc like this in this manner okay now a4 through point c ensure those lines pass through point c please ensure it passes through point c we are going to draw at this point where it touches it that is our b4 okay now a5 from a5 this is a5 okay like this then a5 through point c it's going to be in this manner so at this point this is going to be our b5 then we go straight to a6 this is a6 okay so from a6 passing through point c we we draw so this is going to be our point b6 then a7 a7 we are going to draw our arc in this manner okay so a7 passing through point c we have this so this is our point b7 okay so this is the locus okay this is the locus of b now we have to pick our broom or french curve and join these points together So this is the locus of point B. If you found value in this video, please ensure you smash the subscribe button to always be the first to get any more of my educational content right on this channel and ensure you share with your friends that might need this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next.